They're the perfect vehicle to withstand an attack like this. MRAPs, as they're called, are hulking trucks reinforced with heavy armor and sit high off the ground that are the military's answer to IEDs and other roadside bombs. Uh, they're saving lives, saving lives every day. And because of that, they're the darling of the Pentagon and of commanders in Iraq and Afghanistan. Oh, if I was going from point A to point B, yeah, put me in an MRAP. I mean, that's, uh, you know, everybody you talk to uh, who has been in a convoy and been hit by a blast uh, does not want to be in a Humvee because of the, the impact. I uh, would much prefer to be in, in, in an MRAP. However, it's that same protection and design that also make them prone to rolling over, especially on uneven or soft terrain or during sharp turns, like this accident that was caught on tape. The Associated Press has learned that there have been nearly 40 such incidents in the last eight months, including some fatalities. Two soldiers drowned when their MRAPs flipped over in a canal in Iraq. And it's a, it's a complicated problem where the, uh, the very characteristics of the vehicle that give me the protection that I want, a lot of armor plating, uh, very heavy, uh, using mass as protection against uh, you know, the kinetic force of an explosion, uh, then turn into these uh, downsides. While the Pentagon says MRAPs are as stable as any other military vehicle, the Marine Corps issued this safety pamphlet telling troops, quote, this ain't your father's Oldsmobile. It urges them to reduce speeds on turns, avoid sudden vehicle maneuvers like excessive steering or overcorrecting, and to be extra careful on rural roads and when they go off roads. Representative Taylor, who serves on the Armed Forces Committee, says that while these may seem like basic instructions, it's important to note that MRAPs were rushed into service before anyone had any extensive training. Young men and women who drive these vehicles need to, to train in them before they get to theater. But I hope, you know, I've come to understand it's important to get them to theater as well. And with not enough produced yet, the decision rightly was made to get them to theater first and then get them to the training installations. He says he hopes that trend will change this fall. Also, there's a new, more durable version of the vehicle currently in development called the MRAP-2. In the meantime, the Pentagon is doubling the number of MRAPs it has in Afghanistan, but is making sure to send the lightest, most agile versions of the vehicle. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.